On November 21, 1922, Rebecca Felton became the first woman senator when she took the oath of office. She was appointed in a symbolic gesture by the governor of Georgia and served for only 24 hours. Although Felton opened the door for future women senators, her legacy is marred by her extreme racial prejudice. Here are a few women who were later elected to the Senate. Initially appointed in November 1931 to fill her late husband's seat, Hattie Carraway became the first woman elected to the Senate after winning a special election in January 1932, and she won re-election in her own right twice. Margaret Chase Smith was the first woman to have held a seat in both houses of Congress. She was also known for her Declaration of Conscience, in which she denounced McCarthyism. Barbara Ann Mikulski was the longest serving woman in Congress, a feat that included her time in the U.S. House of Representatives. She focused on social inequalities and funding for health and science research, and she mentored other women senators. Carol Mosley Braun was the first African-American woman elected to the U.S. Senate. She addressed issues that affected women and African-Americans and advocated for health care, education reform, and gun control. Maisie Hirono became the first Asian immigrant as well as the first Asian-American woman to be elected to the Senate in 2012. Hirono has supported legislation related to education and immigration reform and is outspoken about women's rights. In 2022, most U.S. Senators are men, and the vast majority of women Senators are white. The role of women in the Senate is still evolving. Women currently hold many important posts in the Senate, and their number has grown over time.